Hey, it's Ken from Backcountry Nomad, and I'm here at the Adventure Van Show here in Tewksbury, Massachusetts. I thought it would be a good opportunity to share some of these van builds with you. We figured whereas our channel is based primarily on vehicle-based travel, what a better way to show you some of the really cool custom builds that are here at the show. Gretschby. You can have it on any one of these platforms. This one's trimmed out pretty nice. This one's on a Mercedes platform. But isn't this nice? Leather. All the cabinetry, bathroom, really nice build. Nice quality. I'm sure it's pricey, but if you got it, you can't take it with you, right? Here's a Gresh on a smaller platform. A little shorter van. Still really nice. Power step, isn't that cool? I mean, when you're driving this thing, you're driving in luxury. This is like the Cadillac. Or, this is the, like the Mercedes, right? <laughs> LOL. Got an induction stove top. Same type of sleeping arrangement back here. Kind of folds out. Got a fridge. This is the... You got a bathroom, it's tight, but you can fit in there. Look, this one's on clearance. <laughs> I don't know what's clearance, half a mil. <laughs> We've got this really cool setup by Flare Space. Has all these sliding and retractable racks and rails. It's got stove top with a fridge and this bunk that you can adjust and take in and out. Lots of room in this one. Look, you can slide your bikes in underneath here. It's aluminum construction. Here's some Walden camper vans. These look more like a mid-range. Same type of systems as far as the bunks. Look at all the storage. This is so cool. Here's your systems in here, tucked away. Really nice fit and finish. I like having an open space here. I don't really like having this all closed up and tight. This seems to be nice and roomy. It's on a ProMaster platform, which is probably the platform I would choose. I like to build my own stuff, but if I were going to buy something, I'd probably buy something like this one. To rinse off, you grab this guy, pull this out, you have a heated outdoor shower, so you just rinse off. You said heated? It's heated as well, yep, so uh, hot water on board, correct. And you've hot got water a, on board, right there. Yep, you have 30 uh -huh. gallons of fresh water back uh -huh. in here, so you have a very large water reservoir. So no holding tank required, because that goes on the ground? Is, exactly, you know, yes, your holding tank is right behind this belt panel. Yeah. So a van like that one, you're saving the space inside the van by not having a bathroom and a shower. I would imagine you could have a porta potty, but you have an outside shower. So the disadvantage is on a cold day, maybe your shower is not happening. But on a good note, in a small van like this, you're not having to take up extra space with having a big shower enclosure. 
So if you're really into the 4x4 van lifestyle, check this thing out. This has got the snorkel and everything. Four-wheel drive, Mercedes. It's got the lights. It's got the brush bars. The winch. How's it going? How you doing? This is a nice build. The seats turn around in the cab. It's got a shower unit. All kinds of fancy stuff. Oh look, it's got the pull-out bike rack. You put your mountain bikes on here. All folds in. Really nice. Yep. More luggage storage up top if you need it. Because I would imagine this is quite a challenge getting this thing through the woods with the height of it. Got a canopy pull out. Oh, check out these windows. So here's some so here's some Mercedes vans by built dot vans. Yep, yeah, our, our local bike shop. Different color schemes. Like that guy, yeah. got the windows blocked out. That's nice and private. Swivel seats. Storage underneath. Like the others. I'm going to step down from that after a few beers. Okay, man, I'm always like. Love that sticker. That's hilarious. <laughs> and then there's this older couple. They talk next to me. They're like walking by me. Looks like I'm kind of like disgusted by it. I'm like walking by. Like, yes. This table. It's gonna need. Even better. But, uh, yeah. Bike sparks chaos. Basically, what that's what it's like. We all we all ride it. Dudes. Yeah. Coming falls. Put a party here. Storage. Oh, look at this, like a quilted, insulated, light-proof cover. This one's in beige. Look at these tip-out windows, I like those. I get screens in them. This one's finished out a little different, a little different material. Look at this bike rack, mounted up nice and tall. On the exterior of the van. So this company is called Shea well, Vans yeah, Camper Van Conversion. Here's a white Mercedes. Got this one built out really nice as well. There's your quarter potty. Bunk up top. This one has a microwave. Nice sink. Really nice sink with butcher board. This folds up and folds down. Swivel seat in the front. Well, this fancy plumbing in here. Battery banks. All the essentials. Fit and finish doesn't seem to be as fine-tuned to some of the others, but you know what? I'd just as soon save the money. Outdoor shower. There's your outdoor shower. Button and cold adjustment. So the retail on these vans is roughly a hundred and fifty thousand give or take you get the bigger one with the more features they're more you get the smaller one they could be less wait time on these is about six months if you order them now this one's a hundred and forty nine thousand this is a 2001 sprinter 17 footer 
that's where you get them from, right there. So some of the vans like these by Brooklyn camper vans, they've got the table dining room bed combination. One of the things you find a lot of people that are van dwelling or living in their vehicles or RVs is these um, Starlink internet systems. You can get internet pretty much anywhere now. Got porta potty tucked underneath here. If you want to go the economy route, you can do something like this on top of your van. Rooftop, rooftop tent. Oh, look, they've got a little seating area built out here. Why not, right? Probably one of the most affordable ways that you can do this van lifestyle right here. Find some place to park, set up your solar for the day, charge your battery bank, sleep in your rooftop at night, travel in your affordable van during the day. Why not? So I'm here with Gabriel from Van Packers and he wants to talk a little bit about these slide-in units that'll slide into pretty much any van, right? Yeah, any minivan from Chrysler, Toyota, Dodge. Gotcha. Yeah. Show me what you got. So yeah, basically this is the um, plug-and-play conversion kit. So it takes five minutes to fit into the vehicle. And in the back we have a kitchen, like with drawers and uh, water tank, um, foldable sink, this, which is really cool to use. And uh, we have a um, propane stove on the right side. Nice, good, cool stuff. So in other words, if you don't want to build it yourself, you get a hold of you, you can build it for us, right? Well, yeah, but that's just a part of it because inside we have a um, bed that transforms into a living room. So Let's you, take a look at that. If you come and look, here you see the outside table. There's the table, yeah. Which and you this can bring table, out, yeah. we can bring it out and bring it inside too. Oh, great. So when you bring it inside, you can make a table that goes into three different positions. Here, you move this out and it goes here or on the other side. Yeah. And oh, it's all, uh, when it's all kind of modular. Yeah, yeah. Everything is modular. Under that, we have storage. We also have a toilet if you yeah, need. Yeah, yeah, for a party, sure. Yeah. Good stuff. And this can be moved very easily so you can travel four person, sleep two in, in the minivan, and two on the top. Excellent. So, where can I find this? Um, on the website on vanpackers.com. Van We're uh, based in Montreal, Quebec, but we ship everywhere in the US now. Excellent, excellent. Sounds good. Thanks, cool. Gabriel. Thank Appreciate it. <laughs> Another build by Overlanding Solutions. Really nice fit and finish on this one. Definitely a higher end build. Really nice stuff. Look at all this nice woodwork with a sink. Isotherm, refrigerator. Combination toilet and shower. Looks like a composting toilet. Seems to be the norm. Well, this is really nice with the fold down table. Turns into a bunk. Microwave. Induction cooktop. But Kenwin. So if you're into all your own build, the, this company here, Van Life Components, makes all the cabinets so you can do your own build. Really cool stuff. Components. This is a 33-inch shower. The cost is $2,799. It comes as its own component. Cabinetry. Pre-built. Uh, 
Now here's a table. Folds all up, tucks away. Picnic table. So all these different components are all for sale. You can get 30 inch shower, 36 inch. You can get sink bases. You can get upper cabinets. All these different components. Where can you get it? Van Wife Components is the company. So this company, Divine's Tools, they make a whole ton of different cooking and different utensil stuff. We've actually covered this on a different video before, but I really like the quality of this stuff. They're carrying these camp knives, coffee grinder, look at all this stuff. This is something I love, this Defiance Tools collapsible, it's a little grill. You put some charcoal in a Ziploc bag and you can barbecue. Good stuff. I like that, that's really cool. Thanks, yeah, so that's, and it folds down. I've seen this at a different show before. Yeah. Yeah. So. It's $169, it goes anywhere and you can get it on your website, which is defiancetools.com. Defiancetools.com. Thank you. Thank you. So this is a slide-in pop-up camper for a pickup truck. I love the look of this thing. I like how you can take the top down when you're driving, but then when you want to camp, you just pop it up. Tons of room in there. Slide it into the back of your four-wheel drive pickup truck. This one's sitting on a Ford F-350, I believe. It's just got a great look to it. This one's made by four-wheel pop-up campers. Check out this sweet little trailer. You can tow it behind your van or tow it behind your Jeep. This one's called Patrol. It's got this lid on it so you can secure all your stuff. They added a bike rack on the back for your bicycles, electric bicycles. Rustic Mountain Overland. They've got a rooftop tent mounted up on it, and on top of that, they got a canoe. Yeah, I saw them there two years ago. Simplicity. These are these Super 73 electric bikes. Those are pretty quick little bikes. Fun for traveling on the road. These folks got their scottle going. They got a bug net. Nice outfit. Really nice awning. It's a nice rig. I mean, you could live in this single person, even a couple. Travel the country. All the comforts of home. If you can afford it, right? So that about ends it for our day here at the Adventure Van Expo. If you find value in the content that we're providing, please consider becoming a subscriber to the channel. You can also find us on Facebook and Instagram. Until next week, we'll see you again soon.